the president of the board of the Victoria Arts Council. The council was established over 50 years ago and has been in existence continuously since then. It's to serve the artists of the Greater Victoria area and to give emerging artists a chance to make their next leap in their artistic practice. So it's, um, it's a great organization, it's unique to all the other arts organizations in the city. This pop-up, we had the space generously donated by the Bay Centre for this pop-up for the month of May and it's a curated show, a juried show of 50 local artists of varying um, categories that are showing their work and we had over 150 people enter the show and these are the 50 accepted applica or applicants that uh, we're showing this month so we're very happy that it's been well received and a lot of people have come to see the show. And any future pop-ups planned? We're hoping because space is at a premium and budget is a at a low, we are sort of at the mercy of when there's space, as there's space, we can curate a pop-up show. So we're hoping, we're hoping our next pop-up show might be in September here, uh, and then we're hoping for another December pop-up show, as long as the space is available. Mm -hmm. yeah. Funding, with the Arts Council, we have a funding model where earned revenue is not really our main source of income. Just because of who we are as a visual artist. We don't do presentations, we don't put on like, you know, ticketed shows. So we rely on a lot of government funding and grants and of course expenses have been going up, wages are going up, um, rent is definitely going up and our funding from the government, the, especially the BC Arts Council has gone down. So we're in a real kind of bind right now. We're in a uh, sort of a transition period where we're trying to figure out how we keep some form of a door open and um, work on a funding model that might allow us to keep going for the next 50 years. The group is over 50 years old, oh. yeah. Yeah, it oh. was started originally by, um, one of the founding members was Pat Martin Bates, who is a well-known Canadian artist. She lives here in Victoria. She's in her 90s and going strong still. Oh. And uh, when we had our main gallery space, it was uh, named the Pat Martin Bates Gallery. So we mm -hmm. hope we can get another permanent space and reestablish the gallery in her name. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'd like to talk to her. She is a hoot and a delight. Yeah. yeah. Previously, we were subletting a space in the Value Village um, building down on Store Street. And we had a corner with about a 2,000 square foot area with a, with a permanent gallery and a little office space. And um, like I say, we had to give that up due to funding. But it was a yeah, it was a lovely space. It was great for the community. Um, it was open. You know, anybody could walk in, see the art, walk out, engage with whoever's working there. We have many volunteers who sit at the gallery and explain the shows to anybody who wants to come and see them. So yeah, it was it was a real nice community gallery. So mm -hmm. like I say, fingers crossed, we can get something like that on a permanent basis again. Yeah. People want to get involved. You are welcome to come to our uh, Fort Street store on um, in the Bay Center, and we are located at um, on the website at VicArtCouncil.ca. And uh, yeah, so feel free to look us up, drop in, come and talk to our executive director Kagan McFadden. Um, email us. We have a newsletter if you want to sign up for that. Um, yeah, we'd be thrilled to have anybody who's interested come and talk to us about the arts organization.